This is how to make a Valentine's Day letter doormat. So I love the simplistic and modern look of this doormat. And I found the mats at Home Depot for nine bucks with a coupon. And then I got outdoor acrylic paint. I mixed the white and the pink just to get a lighter pink. And then I went around with a stencil brush or chunky acrylic brush and just did one and a half inch dashes with about an inch in between. And I made my way all the way around the bottom and the two side edges. You don't want to do dashes along the edge of the top and you'll see why in a minute. But anyway, it was um, just free handed and the imperfection lends itself to the style I believe just because you're free handing and these are supposed to be little stitches that go around a valentine letter envelope. So anyway, don't worry too much about getting everything perfect. And once you've gone around both sides and the bottom edge, you're going to get the heart that I've linked to. I have a free printable and you can download that and print whatever size you want. There's three different sizes. I used size three and print that off and then trace it. Um, I centered the heart and I put it about seven inches down to get the center of the mat. I measured it with a measuring tape. And then you'll just use like a thinner acrylic brush top to kind of trace the heart out with the red outdoor acrylic paint. So you want to make sure that you're using outdoor exterior craft acrylic paint when you do this. You can also use Flex Seal. I've used Flex Seal rubber, um, like in the, the jar can type thing that you can dip a brush into. You're limited on color that way, and it's also extremely stinky. So I really prefer the craft paint, and you'll see at the very end the photos, and that's after this mat's been outside for two months and has gotten a lot of use. And I didn't even spray the acrylic coating on, and I'll, I'll talk about that at the end, but that probably would lend itself to the longevity and durability of the mat if you spray it with a clear coat on the end. Anyway, um, so you just want to go in one direction when you do these dashes so you don't end up like me and have to make a small dash. And then you can fill in the heart. I found that you want to you wanna get quite a bit of paint on on the mat so that it can sink down into the little fibers. And then it only took about three, four hours to dry completely. And then if you do a clear coat, that'll take another hour or two to dry completely. But this is after usage of two months, just a lot of use. And it still looks great. I think that I'll add a clear coat to it. And hopefully it will last for years to come. To get the supply list and the free printable, check out livelikeyouarerich.com and search Valentine's Day Letter Doormat. Thanks!